Hello future engineer! Welcome back to our lecture on Equilibrium and Support Reactions Part 2. We are already familiar with supports and support reaction. This time, we will focus on equilibrium. This will serve as a review for you before you proceed to the next discussion. But before that, be sure to view first the Equilibrium and Support Reactions Part 1. Link is attached in the description box below. There are two major scenarios in equilibrium of structures. One is the equilibrium of two dimensions or coplanar force system. And the other is the equilibrium of three dimensions force system in space. So how can a structure be considered in equilibrium? When a structure at rest remains at rest, even if it is subjected to forces and or copals, the structure is said to be in equilibrium. If a structure is in equilibrium, we can say that all the members are in equilibrium. The net of all forces and moments in a structure is called resultant. When the structure is in equilibrium, the resultant is zero. In other words, all forces and moments acting upon the structure is balanced. For a structure subjected to a system of forces and couples which are lying on the xy plane to remain at rest, it must satisfy the following three static equilibrium conditions. Sum of all vertical forces is equal to zero. Sum of all horizontal forces is equal to zero. Sum of all moments is equal to zero. These equations are commonly referred to as equilibrium equation of coplanar force systems. Coplanar concurrent force system refers to the forces which lie in the same plane and at the same time passes through one common point. Therefore, the equilibrium of coplanar concurrent force system means that the resultant of the forces lying on the same plane and passes through one common point is equal to zero. Let us solve a problem. Consider the xy plane as shown. If the five coplanar concurrent forces F1, F2, F3, F4, and F5 as shown in the following figure are in equilibrium, find the magnitude and direction of F5 assuming F5 acts in the direction shown. How do we solve this problem? We first resolve the inclined forces components. Say force F is an inclined force with an angle theta x from the horizon and angle theta y from the vertical axis. The components can be resolved as Fx and Fy for horizontal and vertical components respectively. When dealing with forces direction, vertical forces upward carries positive sign as well as horizontal forces going to the right. Conversely, vertical force downward and force going to the left carry negative sign. In solving the value of Fy and Fx given the angles theta x and theta y, we use the following formulas. Going back to our problem, we sum up all vertical forces, that is, summation of Fy is equal to 0. Then we have negative F1 sine 45 degree plus F2 sine 15 degree minus F3 cosine 30 degree plus F5 sine theta 5x equals to 0. Substituting the value of F1, F2, and F3, we have Simplifying, we get Therefore, F5 sine theta 5x are equal to the vertical 
component of F5 is equal to 95.895 kN. Moving on, we sum up all horizontal forces, that is, summation of Fx equals to 0. Then we get F1 cosine 45 degree plus F2 cosine 15 degree plus F3 cosine 60 degree minus F4 minus F5 cosine theta 5x equals to 0. Substituting the volume F1, F2, F3, and F4, we have Simplifying, we get Therefore, F5 cosine theta 5x or the horizontal component of F5 is equal to 103.325 kN. Then, we get the volume of F5 or the resultant of F5x and F5y. We use the formula F5 is equal to square root of F5x squared plus F5y squared. Substituting the value of F5x and F5y, we have Therefore, F5 is equal to 140.968 kN. Then we get the horizontal angle of F5 or theta 5x. We use the formula theta 5x equals to arc tangent F5y over F5x. That is equal to 42.864 degrees. Therefore, F5 has a magnitude of 140.968 kN moving upward through the line of action with angle of 42.864 degrees from the horizontal axis. Coplanar parallel force system are parallel forces lying on the same plane. These are forces that does not meet or intersect and have the same distance throughout the force's line of action. Let's try to have a sample problem. Given the loads P1, P2, and P3 acting on the beam as shown in the preceding figure, find the reactions RA and RB. To solve this problem, we sum up all the moments at point A, that is summation of MA is equals to zero. We assume that the clockwise direction of moment is positive. That is, P1 times 1.2 plus P2 times 3.6 plus P3 times 7 minus RB times 6. What does these measurements indicate? These are the perpendicular distance from the force to the moment's center point. To continue, substitute the value of B1, P2, and P3. We can now get the value of RB, which is equal to 125.333 kN, that is, in upward direction. Then, we sum up all the moments at point B. That is, summation of MB is equal to 0, assuming clockwise direction of moments to be positive. That is, negative P1 times 4.8 minus P2 times 2.4 plus P3 times 1.0 plus RA times 6.0 is equal to 0. Substituting the value of P1, P2, and P3, we get... We can now solve for the value of Ra, which is equal to 109.667 kN upward. Let us try to check our work. So we sum up all the forces, that is, summation of Fy is equal to 0. We are correct. General coplanar force system could also be referred to as coplanar non-concurrent force system. These are the forces that lie in the same plane but does not intersect in one common point. 
Let's have an example. Five coplanar forces acting on the 4 meter by 8 meter board, as shown in the figure, are in equilibrium. Find the magnitude of F3, F4, and F5. How do we solve this type of problem? Of course, we'll be needing our free body diagram. Then we sum up all the moments at point A. Assuming clockwise direction of moment is positive. That is, F1 times 2 minus F3x times 1 plus F3y times 5 minus F2 times 2 is equal to 0. Substituting the value of F1 and F2, we get... So how did we get the value of F3 over 5 and F3, 4 over 5? You must review your notes on statics of rigid bodies concerning the forces which slope is defined through its run and rise. We can now get the value of F3 which is equal to 261.765 kN. Hence, F3x is equal to F3 times 3 over 5 is equal to 157.059 kN, while F3y is equal to F3 times 4 over 5 is equal to 209.412 kN. Let us sum up all horizontal forces. So F1 plus F3x plus F5x equals to 0. Substituting of values that we have, that is F1 and F3x, we got F5x is equal to negative 602.059 kN. Your negative sign doesn't mean that your answer is wrong. You just need to change the direction of your force. However, for easy solving, please retain this sign and we'll just carry out this throughout the entire discussion. F5x is actually equal to F5 times 2 over square root of 5. The same explanation as we have in our F3. Hence, F5 is equal to F5x over 2 over square root of 5 equal to negative 675.123 kN. F5y is equal to F5 times 1 over square root of 5 equal to negative 301.029 kN. To continue, let's sum up all vertical forces. Negative F2 plus F4 plus F5y plus F3y is equal to 0. Substituting the values we've got, Simplifying, we have the value of F4 equals to 981.617 kN. Let us now check our work. So sum up all the moments at point B. Assuming clockwise direction of moment to be positive. Substituting the values we've got. Checked. We are correct. Therefore, F3 is equal to 261.765 kN. 4 divisions upward and 3 divisions to the right. F5 is 675.123 kN, 1 division downward and 2 divisions to the left. F4 is 981.617 kN upward. And that's it for this video. On the next and last part, 
we will try to solve equilibrium of 3D4 system. 